Thanks, you ladies. My name is Jack Guy, and welcome back, I guess, to me reacting to some of my older stuff. But this, this one is a little different. This isn't the same as I've normally done, where I just pick videos myself and go through them and react to them. This is something I that was suggested to me when I was going around YouTube last night, and I thought it'd be a fun idea to make a video on it. It's called the Evolution of Jack Guy, and it's by Berries and Cubes. And I think what they've done is the evolution of Jacksepticeye by looking back to Jack's intro and subscriber milestones from November 2013 to, sub to September 2016. So they've gone back over all my old videos, I think, and shown the progression of the channel. Because what I've done before is just pick select videos that I thought were fun or like I could remember recording. But this is going to go through a bunch of stuff. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how much I've changed over the years, because I'm not the same as when I started. I'm a lot more confident in what I'm doing now, and I'm a lot more boisterous, and I have a lot more, um, I don't know, flair, <laughs> I guess. Uh, let's just start. Okay, so... Ah! Ooh, nice! Hey guys, Jacksepticeye here. And hey guys, what is going on? Hey guys and gals. <laughs> hey hey, what's up? There it is. I am Jack Septic Eye. Hey. The the hey hey intro stayed for a while. That's what I was actually going to make the thing, and then it turned into hello all you beautiful people later on because I didn't know what to do, and I was like every YouTuber has an intro. I need an intro. I need something. I need something catchy, I need something that's mine, I need something that no one else has ever done before. I put way too much pressure on myself to get a- to get an intro, and then it naturally just turned into what it is now. But back then, it was all over the place. Hey, hey, what is shaking, boys and what girls? What is shaking? I am Jack Septic Eye. Hey, hey, what is going on, everybody? I am Jack Septic Eye. Hey, hey, what is going oh, on? Ah, Dark everybody? Souls! Okay, what is up? We I had a- I had a series of Dark Souls going ages and ages ago. I- actually, I think I had two. This was just a, a regular Dark Souls Let's Play, because I love Dark Souls so much. And when it came out, it blew me away. I was like, I have to record a series on this. Uh, and then I went back later and I did a How to Get the Best Magic Build, um, Dark Souls series, which didn't take off and people weren't really watching it, so I stopped it. But god, I remember recording these. I, and I remember, um... I went to Korea, I think, in the middle of recording these, and I had some of them prepped. It was the first time I had ever had to prep for a trip, and I had to do videos in advance. See, even back then, 2013, 2012, mother of Jesus! We are back in Dark Souls. We're back in Dark Souls. Ah! Hey, hey, what is going on? So after deciding sick against Light Town, I have also decided against the Catacombs. Hey, hey, what is going on? My name- Can you notice the change? I got a blue Yeti mic at that stage. Oh, your boy Jack's moving up in the world at this point. <laughs> oh god, and I remember this, I was playing like with the anti-air in Battlefield 3, and I was destroying ass for like rounds before that, and then I got in to record a video of it and I was terrible. My name is Jack Septic Eye. Hey hey, what is going oh, Far on? Far Cry, everyone? the game that started it all. My name <laughs> is Jack Septic Eye. I forgot to crop out, I forgot to turn off the <laughs> the fraps counter, which now I'd be like, because there's no face in it. So now I'd be like, if I was to re-record this again, and I, I didn't, I forgot to crop that out, i just stretch it out a small bit, so nobody really knows the difference to take out that square. But back there, no. Nope. Jack didn't even have skills to be able to do that. No, no wherewithal. No foreshadowing. No, or no forethought. No foreshadowing. Guy. Hey, hey! What is going on? I'm Jack Septicai. Hey, hey, what is going on? Jack Septicai here. Where are we going, dude? Oh, you kind of did a little wobbly there, didn't you? Hey, hey, guys, what is the crack? Ah, what is Ooh. the crack? Oh, I was trying to be Irish. That's the first time I tried to show Irishness through my content. Um, now, now of course, it's it's like top of the morning. It's so overdone and over exaggerated and everything. But back then, like I was trying to hide. The fact that I was Irish. We're not trying to hide it so much as I like if I I thought that if I spoke the way I normally spoke back then, that no one would understand what I was saying because I was Irish and nobody would watch that. And I thought I had to be there's a hair sticking down. I thought I had to be this guy who spoke clearly and openly and that people would like recognize and I had to have some sort of like stage persona, stage voice, or something like that. Some sort of character or some sort of voice that I was proud of. And back then, I didn't talk the way I normally talked. 
And my accent was much thicker back then as well. And then when I started talking like this, Hey, hey, what is going on? Everything was so slow. Will the circle oh, and I did this because I thought it was cool. Again. By I, I did that because I, I used to do like, yeah, as they say, compilations and little reviews and everything. That you don't know Jack G'day, series. boys and girls. Ah! I'm the survival hunter. Survival hunter! The survival hunter. That was my favorite series to do at the time because it was my... My first, like, original sketch type of thing that I did on my own. And I was proud of it, nobody else was doing the same kind of thing. It was like a Steve Irwin, Bear Grylls, survival thing that I did in Far Cry. And then I adapted it to other games later on, but... It, it never really went much further, there was like one gimmick to it. And people have asked me to bring it back again, but... There's not a whole lot left in it to do! I'm gonna show you what it I'm takes I'm so proud of the intro as well! Some of the most dangerous situations video games have to offer. Hello, everyone! What is going down? What is shaking? What is shaking? My name shaking. is Jack Septicide. Hello, everyone. Oh. Welcome. My name is Jack. It almost started there. Hello, all you beautiful people out there. My name is Jack Septicide. Do oh, I remember? People keep asking me if I remember that intro. Of course I remember. God, it was so weird. Septicide. Hello, all you beautiful people out there. There it is. My name. It's Jack Septicai. <laughs> Hello, everyone. All uh. you beautiful people out there. My name is Jack Septicai. Hello, all you beautiful people out there. Oh, the first face cam video. What game is that? Is that Amnesia? Did I play it? Well, I know I played Amnesia, but oh man, the old setup. The, this webcam was like a five euro webcam that I got in Tesco that I didn't know. What it was gonna be like, well we got it years and years before that, and then I was like, okay, everybody else is doing face cam, I kinda wanna try face cam stuff. Cause I liked, I liked the type of let's plays where you could see someone's face, I wasn't copying a trend, even though it looks like that, I just enjoyed that type of content, so I was like, okay, I get a face cam, and at the time I didn't have a camera good enough, so I just started using this, which, you can't fucking see anything. And then, like, I have my blue yeti, with the pop filter over it, and there's a sock over the blue yeti, because it used to pop so much. Oh, the memories! I didn't do a full Amnesia Let's Play, I just did a couple of episodes and nobody was watching it. Which, back then, nobody was watching anything I did. I don't know why I didn't just keep going. Hello, all you Oh, the first vlog! My name is Jack Jacksepticeye. They, that, that was back in the cabins. Good lord, and all my little DVDs. My little masks that I made in Korea. Oh, god, so long ago! April 30th, 2013. See, this is when I started doing YouTube properly. I, I was uploading videos back in 2012, but they were just- they were kind of nothing, and it was very inconsistent. I was uploading like once a week, twice a week, and then it started to ramp up a small bit. But it was around this time, when I started bringing my face into stuff, that I started uploading twice a day. So, everything kind of changed by then. So that's when I considered the time when I properly started YouTube, and that's when it kind of- like, kept going. That's where it started to gain speed and traction and momentum. Just by simply uploading. Consistently. Consistency was the the biggest thing, and I have like a, a thing over the window in the back so everything was dark. And this was a vlog talking about the do's and don'ts of horror in video games, and I can't remember what I actually said in it, but I'm sure some of them still pertain to what I feel now, but man. Oh! That's a flash from the past, my little foam at the side. The whole wall at the back was all foam as well. But I had some spare leftover parts that I just put in the wall because I wanted to dampen the sound as much as possible. And this was before I started putting the mattresses in the background to dampen out the sound even further because there's a there was a bigger room in the back that I couldn't close off. Hello, all you beautiful people out there. Oh, my cry name of fear. Is Jack Septic Eye. Top of the morning, there it is. laddies. Haha, <laughs> the first video with that iconic intro. There was no high five at the start either. It was just me, top of the morning to ya laddies. And I, I, I kept mixing it up. I kept saying that Jeff the Killer was the first video that had that intro in it. But it's not. It's Mare, um, when lights die. But I, I think I, I think I recorded Jeff the Killer first, but then uploaded this one first. Um, so in my head I keep remembering that Jeff the Killer was the first video with it in it. Oh, mother of God. And see, you can see the window in the background there, I didn't have anything in the background. And I hated that! Because I wanted to block off this. But I couldn't at the time. I had nothing to put up, and then I put up a bed sheet with mattresses behind it so you couldn't see anything. Ooh! M m movie, movie magic! Jeez, did I, like, 
record it in a wrong aspect ratio and everything. My jeez, there was there was no high five back then, and I I made up the intro. I've said all this stuff before, but it's good to reiterate. I made up the intro because I was like, okay, what's people didn't think I was Irish because of the way I was talking, and who could blame them? Because my accent, and I was putting on kind of a voice, and I wasn't settling into who I was at the time. But I was like, okay, how can I prove that I'm Irish? What's the most stereotypically Irish thing I could say? And then I remembered the episode of Friends where Monica says, Top of the morning to you laddies! So I even like overdid the accent and everything. My name is Jack Septicai. Top of the morning to you laddies. My name is Jack Septicai. Okay, so welcome back laddies. Top of the morning to you laddies. Oh, Jesus, the fucking... I, w I was comparing the mics because I got this. Uh, the Rode Podcaster. I wanted to get a better mic and I was trying to figure out which mics were good. And then I got the Rode Podcaster and I was trying to convince myself that it was better. So I did a, a comparison of the two. Um, and I was I was like, I loved looking up videos about people comparing tech. Because I was trying to get my setup better. So I tried to do one of those videos myself. And... I, I thought that this sounded better at the time because I bought it new. So I wanted to convince myself that it was better, but it wasn't. I, I don't like that mic at all. My name is Jack Septic Top of the morning to you laddies. My name is Jack Septic Oh, the sheet is there now. Look at that. 1,000 subscribers. A whole thousand subscribers. That was a big deal to me. You can't see it in my face because I was still a bit awkward on camera. But that at the time was a really big deal to me. Top of the morning to you laddies. My name is Jack Septic and welcome back to Mad Father. Ah, I, I loved playing that game. That came out again, didn't it? Mad Father? It was, and I said mad father instead of mad father the way I'd normally say it. Yeah. Top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is Jack Septicai and welcome back to Little Inferno. Little Inferno. Oh God, I loved that series because that was the first series that I ever did that was me. There were, well, it's still kind of awkward and there's still some parts where I speak a bit differently and everything. But that was the first series that I did start to finish the entire thing. Um, because I did Cry of Fear, but I wasn't happy with that series because it turned out really awkward and I couldn't finish the game properly myself, so I had to get help. Um, and then Little Inferno was a game that I played that I was- I- I feel like I settled more into myself at that point. And I- I- I felt like myself. I felt like Jack. Oh, it's a new day! Time to check on the old YouTube channel! Huh? <gasps> 500. Oh, I was so fucking proud of that video too. I was like, oh, I set up the camera properly to make it seem like I woke up in bed and I was wearing the hoodie and the hat and everything to make it seem like that I just slept that way all the time. And then I, I like ADR'd all the lines. I, I went back and dubbed over them. Oh, it's so cringy. But cringy is good. It's good to go back and watch these things because it shows how much I've changed. And even, even now, between 23- August 2013 and December 20- Ugh. December 2012. Ugh, I'm choking on my own saliva. You can tell how much I've changed already, and this- From August to August again, you're gonna see a huge change. Right, top of the morning to you laddies! My name is Jack Septicai. Whoa! 2000! <laughs> top of the morning to you laddies! My name ah. is Jack Septicai- This is- this is the video. These, these are the videos I started to do the high five. Um, but that fucking- Whoa! 2000! It's like the, I love nature so much, help birds, which will probably end up being in here as well. But this is the, this is the video that showed up in the PewDiePie shout out. Guy, <laughs> top of the morning to you laddies. My name is Jack Septicai. <laughs> top of the morning. There it is. That's the first time I ever used the sound effect. September 2013. I think this is the PewDiePie shout out winner. To you laddies. My name is Jack Septicai and I just got mentioned in a PewDiePie video. <laughs> Top of the morning to you laddies! My name is Jack Septicai. Hey Vegeta, how many subscribers do I have now? Over 9,000! Okay, okay, forgive me, okay? I know, I know how cringy that is. And how cliche and it is. But back then, it wasn't. Because back then, that was when Vine had started to come to fruition a lot. Like a lot of people were posting Vines. And it was like the hip new thing to do. So I started posting Vines to YouTube. There's some vines that I uploaded myself, like, shaving my beard and then had ketchup all over my face and shit like that. And it, it, like, now it's so dumb looking, but back then, it seemed fine. It seemed like well within the realm of normality. 
And I used to upload them to YouTube and consider that an upload for the day. But back then I was uploading like four to five videos a day. Fifty thousand! <laughs> Holy balls! Is what I said right after that, but good lord. This is such a blast from the past. It's not even that long ago. It's only November 2013. But Jesus! Top of the board to you laddies. My name is Jack Septicai and welcome back to Happy Wheels! Rip. Rip Happy Wheels. Happy Wheels is gone now, but Jesus, that, that was like the prime of Happy Wheels. That's when it all started. That wasn't the first video of Happy Wheels because I said welcome back to Happy Wheels. Oh, and fun fact, the first episode of Happy Wheels, I, I mentioned this as well before, I had to redo all the sound effects myself. Because when I did the episode, the sound didn't record. So I had to go back in and record miscellaneous sounds in Happy Wheels and take sounds from the internet and everything and put them all into the episode. So, very few things actually have a proper sound in that episode. Ah, oh, the reading your comments. That started off... It is coming back, by the way. I am doing reading comments. I actually plan on recording it today. I don't know if I should say that because I don't know when this video is going up. This could go up after that or whatever. But <clears throat> the first reading your comments episodes, I didn't have the. And uh, now it was just me doing a normal intro. Twenty thousand subscribers. Mother of God, twenty thousand was back in November twenty thirteen. Like November this year will be four years since twenty k subs, and the channel's at fifteen million now. Like, this is- this is the type of stuff that I try to remind myself of, is these types of videos, and this type of content, and this location, and everything. Because that- that- like, life was so different back then. And now, there it is. YouTube comments. The first with Jack intro. Top of the morning to you laddies, my name is Jack Septicai. 30,000 subscribers! And there- there- that's when things started to kick up, because it was November to December. When I gained 10k subs. And that, that to me, was fucking insane. 10, 10k subs in a month, to me, was like, oh, what the fuck? And then, it was like 30 to 60k at the start of January 2014. And then by the end of the year, it was 3 million. So 2014 was the year that everything just went... <laughs> and that, that freaked me the fuck out, but it also made me super excited and I was so passionate and driven. Hey, what? <laughs> Recently, we just hit 40,000 subscribers. Oh yeah, I did a, a skit for that. That wasn't me doing a, a fake voice because I wanted to talk like that. That was me putting on a voice on purpose because it was like, Hello, and welcome to Jacksepticeye. We just hit 40,000 subscribers. It was so fucking bad. Top of the morning to you laddies, my name is Jacksepticeye and we just hit 100,000 subscribers. Jesus, March 3rd, 2014, 100k subs. <laughs> oh my god. That, that's... Yeah. So three years on from that, and the channel hit 15 million. Seriously, that's insane. Top of the morning to you laddies, my name Ah, the facial hair started to come in then as well. Because I always wanted to grow facial hair, but I never could, and of course, the time I tried to do it had to be when the world was watching. When- when more people in my entire life had ever watched me try to grow facial hair, I decided to go full force at it. Guess what? I am moving! Top of the morning to you laddies, my name is Jack Septiguy. Oh. <laughs> May 2014, fucking Killian. <laughs> May 2014 was when I moved. And now it's coming up to May 2017, so three years later, and I'm getting ready to move again. Which... is just crazy. And I think it's good! Um, at the time, because now it's like, oh, Jack, don't move. I, I'm so used to, like, the background that's here. I'm so used to you being in this setup and everything. But back then, people freaked out when I moved the first time. People were so upset that I was losing the log cabin behind me. And that it was, like, such a, a little intimate spot. And people hated this. Because it was, like, such a big room and everything. And, <laughs> sorry to leave your face on screen like that, Killian. Um, people freaked out back then that I was moving. Uh, so it should show you like the the cycle that people freak out when there's any sort of change anyway um, And that really bothered me back then because I was really worried that everyone would just leave the channel because I moved house Even though it was the greatest thing I think I ever could have done for my YouTube career was moving because not only was it just a whole new chapter in my life And I got to move out of my my parents and I got to go do my own thing, but I got better internet 
which let me be able to collab with all the other YouTubers and because back then I couldn't. I, I collabed with Mark back at the log cabin and my internet was so bad that I couldn't even send him the face cam file for him to be able to upload it and like I don't know that, that's so crazy and just to like to point out how much people freaked out back then so I put up a curtain behind me so you couldn't see the background anymore because I wanted to somehow retain what it was back at the cabins which to me now that seems ridiculous I should have just been like you know what I moved people will get over it because that's kind of what I'm like now that yes, I'm moving. Yes, it's going to be a change. Yes, it's going to be different. But different isn't bad. Different can be great. And I think that moving again is badly needed for myself because I'm getting so... I don't know. I'm getting so creatively suffocated with where I live now and I'm so bored of it and I'm so tired of like the same walls every day and everything. I want, I want a change. So it's going to be good. This is a thing for Turbo Dismount. Uh, we thought it'd be funny. We were getting ready to record Turbo Dismount and I wanted to put Killian into a video and have fun with me because he was fascinated by the YouTube stuff. And then we ended up recording Turbo Dismount and it was his idea to be like, hey, why don't we just do like a, a different intro? It'd be funny if I did your intro. And I was like, that's, that's not a bad idea. And I actually had to go pee at the time, so. Have the morning to you, laddies. My name is Jack Septicaya. He nailed it. <laughs> we hit 900,000 subscribers. Yeah, 900k at August 11th. <laughs> Top of the morning to you laddies, my name is Jack Septicai. And then August 20th was a million. That That's crazy. <laughs> Thank you guys, seriously. I haven't said it yet, but I am very grateful for everything that's happened. I don't want this to be a video where it's just me looking at myself and being like, yeah, I did that. Like, I, I'm very much aware that all of you did this for me and helped the channel get to where it is and like, all of these milestones are celebrating all of you on the channel. It's Well, it's celebrating both of us. Like, the channel, and me, and you guys, and everything we just do together. So... Oh, I'm so fucking proud. So proud of everything that's happened. And it was after this then that stuff really started to... Like, at the start of this year, stuff was rocketing along very fast. But after this was when it was like a million every two months. And that, that freaked me out, because that's a lot of pressure. I, it was a thing when it happened, I was like, holy crap. And I, I was, I was like, even at this point, even now, there's part of me that's still paranoid that if I do something wrong, everyone's just going to leave. And that, beca because I don't put myself on such a pedestal, because I don't put myself up as some sort of like, huge figure, or anything like that, and I don't think that, I'm amazing. I don't think that I'm super special. I don't think that I'm like one in a million that just had so much talent that I made this happen. I got very lucky with YouTube. Um, I had I had a certain amount of charisma and a certain amount of energy and the accent and everything. It helped along, but I, I got very, very lucky with the things that happened on YouTube. And because of that, I, I think it's kept me sort of grounded in a lot of ways. And I never said to myself like, yeah, you did this all on your own, dude. You're amazing. You're fantastic. And that also stopped me from like going way above and beyond and... I don't know. I guess what I'm trying to say is, in a way, it never made me feel like... What I had was never gonna go away. I always had that feeling that I need to work for this. I need to keep going. I need to keep this consistency, this work ethic, this passion going constantly because... It, it was that type of work ethic that got me to where I am and got the channel to where it is and let me help let me help meet all you guys. So I, I was always paranoid that if I didn't do that, that the world would just forget about me. I didn't think I was unique enough that people would remember me forever. So I was always paranoid that everyone would leave. And I guess part of me is still kind of paranoid about that. It's 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 a strange feeling. We did it! We hit two million subscribers before the end of the year. Good job, you and you and you and God, you. Top of the world, you My name is Jack Septicai, and welcome back. The, this is yeah, the day when Jack decided to use a green screen. Wow, you've really done all your work, berries and cubes. You really know like all the little ins and outs. That's awesome. This, I tried out a green screen, um, because I thought it's a pain in the ass to actually have like a proper backdrop up and. The backdrop didn't look very nice, so I was like, okay, I'll get a green screen so I can mess around with the backdrop. 
And I never liked the green screen effect of having your head down here and having like the cut out. I, I never liked that. I always liked the little box because I, I didn't want to like blend into the background of the game. I liked showing that, yes, I'm in a room playing a game kind of thing. I, I didn't want it to be anything else. So I don't know. I just like the aesthetic of that. But I tried using a green screen. You can see it here. I hated it because it allowed for more diverse backgrounds, but when I would move and I'm super animated and bounce around all over the place, it used to like be very blurry, and I hated that. Back to Turbo Dismount! Top of the morning, Jelani! So I got rid of it. <laughs> 3 million subscribers! That was the day before my birthday. 3 million subs. Jesus. <laughs> 2015. And then February, two years later, uh, it kind of uh, quintupled. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh my god. That's actually scary now when you think about it. Top of the morning, you ladies. So by now, Top of the morning, I was very my much myself. Thank you all so much for making the channel reach 8 million subscribers. January last year was 8 million. Oh, oh that's so much pressure. Oh god. Um, yeah, by now, I'm definitely very much myself. Like, 2015 onwards was when I started to be like the the boisterous, regular version of myself. And I wasn't ashamed of it anymore, I was just trying to be who I actually was. And not really caring what anybody else thought about it, because at that point I was like, you know what? If these amount of people are subscribing to the channel, I must be doing something right. So, wh why... Like, because it, it was never a fake thing, it was never a, a thing of trying to like, trick people into subscribing to the channel. I was never putting on a version of myself that I thought would, again, trick people. It was more of a case of putting on a, a different version of myself because I wasn't comfortable with who I was yet. And then, by, the more and more I did it, the more I kind of settled into who I was and I was like, you know what, fuck it. Let's just do this. Top of the morning, you ladies, my name is Jack Sepkin. Top Papers, of the morning, you ladies, please. my name is Jack Sepkin. I'm back with Bob, playing Rocket League and how to do an intro really quick. Top of the morning, you ladies, my name is Jack Sepkin. Top yeah, I moved away from the backdrop. My name is Jack Sepkin. Welcome back to what should be the final episode of Papers, Please. Top of the morning, and you it ladies, was. my name is Jack Sepkin. I got rid of the backdrop because I was sick of it. I, because the idea of the backdrop was to get rid of the room behind me and not have the room be like a distraction. I didn't want people looking in the background and seeing stuff like, because people used to be like, oh, he didn't make his bed today. I was like, why the fuck does that matter? So I put up the backdrop to just be me, the camera, and the game, and you guys. And then I got sick of the backdrop because it got in the way. I had to set it up every time, and then like, I couldn't push my chair back or anything like that, and it blocked off half the room, and it just, it took up too much space. So I decided, you know what, fuck it. I'm just gonna get rid of the backdrop and be myself. Are you saying that you have to wait around for ages inside me? Hours at a time? That I'm ex- And this is when I got the new camera. Not, not the one I'm using right now, I decided to use a different one for this because... I don't know, the other one was a pain in the ass to set up for this. Um, but the other camera that I always use now is the same one that I got here and it's such a nice camera. Because I, I was always about improving or trying to improve and getting new stuff and making things as good as I possibly could for the people watching. So I got a very good mic, a very good camera. Um, the quality of the content, that was always subjective, but at least I could get the quality up so the people watching were watching like a super clear image that was 60 FPS and you could see everything properly and if I pointed out something like, I don't know, just trying to make it the best possible experience possible so there was nothing in the way, there was no like muddy camera, there was nothing blurry, you could actually see stuff moving properly in focus and you could hear everything clearly. Um, because it was always kind of like an investment to make the channel as best as I possibly could. Top of the morning, you ladies, my name is Jackson. Ah, the green chair! And every time I hear that intro now, Hello, all buddy. I think about is the All The Way song. Hello and welcome to the Jacksepticeye Power Hour. There it Today, began. Today, we laugh in the face of science to see magic I fucking love you. that video. I love that video so much because I was like, you know what, let's, let's record some dumb shit. Let's just record some skits and sketches and I had, I had no idea what to do, so I went out and I bought the first stupid thing I could find, which was the magic kit. It's like, yeah, I could probably make this into something. So I sat down with that and then I told Robin that, oh, Robin is on board at this point. Robin came on in May, uh, 2016. And then I, I started to do, or I just sat down and did it and I didn't know how it was going to turn out. I was like, this is going to be awful. So I said to Robin, can you please try and make this good somehow? And then he, he knocked it out of the park with the editing on that, and it, it was funnier than I actually thought it was when I recorded it. I thought a whole bunch of nothing happened, 
But it was funny almost that nothing happened. That was kind of the joke of the whole thing. So I, I really like that video. There's more of them! This must be new because I didn't see this one when I was doing oh, the Oh, that's ones. the end. I think the last one we did was... The that was September 2016. Holy God, that was a roller coaster. From start to finish, there's so much in there. By the end, it's like, well, yeah, that's that's Jack. But like back at the start. Okay. So... Like, that's such a change and such a difference. <laughs> that, that's kind of crazy. I, I don't even know what to say about it. Other than, yeah, I'm completely different than what I was back in November 2012. Because of course I am. Of course I was going to change that much in five years. Well, close enough to five years. Four and a half. But thank you for making that, Berries and Cubes. There's some other ones as well. But this, this is the one that showed up where YouTube was like, Hey, you maybe watch this. Which is weird that YouTube's recommending stuff about myself, but I guess it would, because I have to check all my own videos to make sure they're okay when they upload, so... YouTube's like, oh, you like watching Jacksepticeye? <laughs> um, but seriously, this th this is so bizarre, and it, it it's good to watch something like this, I think, to remind myself of where everything started. I, I always try to remember it anyway, and try to stay grounded and remain humble and modest about everything that's happened, because... I don't know, I hate the YouTubers that get big, and then think they're hot shit, or think that they own the place, or think that they're better than other people. Because, I, I don't know, we're all- like, everyone who does YouTube, at least most of the people who I watch, are just regular people who got very, very lucky. And especially me, I got very, very lucky what I'm- I do, and the type of stuff that I do, and to have so many people here on the channel, because anybody could have done what I did. Just starting off making videos, putting your energy and your passion into it, and just being yourself. Again, albeit being a more... Being a different version of yourself because I, I didn't want to show off my accent all that much because I was kind of embarrassed by it. And again, didn't think anyone would watch it, but the type of person I was in the videos was definitely myself. Um, and again, anybody could do that. Anybody can just start off and start recording videos and... I think what got me and got the channel to where it was was because I just threw everything I had at it I had so much passion and so much drive to want to do it every day that I just kept on doing it And I never once like thought about it being my job. I never once thought about it being a, a thing that I would do every day um, Like as my main thing I always just went at it as like a hobby and did it because I wanted to do it and put my all into the videos that I was making. It might not show, because the, the videos are very crude and crummy now, but at the time, that was like the best I could do, and what, what else could I do? But yeah, it's nice to remind myself of that once in a while, that it started from nothing. And that, at, at some point, maybe people will forget about me. Maybe my time on YouTube will come to an end, and maybe very few people will actually remember the name Jacksepticeye, but I can be proud in the fact that I did it my way. <laughs> I can be proud in the fact that I did it, and did it genuinely, and did it honestly, and I never tried to trick people, and I never tried to bullshit people, I just did it from the heart, and kept playing games, and kept trying to entertain people, and make people smile, and try to make myself happy, make myself proud, and sure, I've made some dumb decisions along the way, and I didn't avail of a lot of the opportunities that came my way, because uh, I got a lot of opportunities last year and the year before, and I keep thinking, oh, have I missed my chance? But, I, I think life is what you make of it. You make your own opportunities, you set new goals, and you, you try and overcome that, and just keep on progressing and improving, so... I don't know, I'm just happy with the way things are, and I'm very proud. And I'm, I'm really glad you're all still here and didn't abandon me, so... Thank you for that, it, it really means the world to me. But anyway, this video's gone on long enough, so I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching it. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a boss! And... I face all around. Whoosh! Whoosh! Thank you guys, I will see all you dudes! Let's go! Just be fired. Can a felon own a shotgun? Matt, not for me, I'm not the felon. I'm just asking, when you own a shotgun, it's gone off, I don't know. Okay. Ah, you all should fear me! The fucking Jesus Christ! Got very close that time. Punch! 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 <laughs>